have Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your uh, general read. It's a bonus, actually, for April. This is your bonus general for April. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, obviously, um, the energy is fluid. It could go any direction. Time is an illusion, so that could also go um, before, after, two years, three years, whoever knows, right? I hope these messages find everyone in good health and good wealth and good spirits. Um, I urge you to check out your other signs um, as they continue to be loaded. I will be getting everyone out a bonus at some point. <laughs> Aquarius. King of Pentacles, Aquarius feeling like the man or the woman right okay cool i mean i love it i love it feeling really stable feeling really secure feeling really logic aquarius is feeling themselves okay they feel like they are in line i'm hearing in line yeah with the four of wands and the ten of wands okay so i mean yeah you have a lot of responsibility aquarius but i mean you're doing it you're doing it it looks like Things are going a little bit more smoothly than they were um, the last read I did for you. I love this energy for you. You're working. You're solid. You're, it looks like things are kind of beginning to flow. Maybe you've gotten in your groove is honestly what it kind of feels like a little bit. Seven of Wands. There's some challenges, but I feel like you're taking hold of that. I feel like you're getting that under control. It's not near as chaotic as it was. Seven of Swords. But as we continue, so we're looking. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> With the Six of Swords. Yeah, it looks like, Aquarius, you've... Um I feel like you've stopped fighting with someone or you stopped feeding into something. You stopped entertaining something, Aquarius. I feel like you've stopped whatever this was. Yeah, it's probably... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's probably something with a relationship like a you know a, a romantic relationship Aquarius but I feel like and again Aquarius if this isn't you it could be someone that you're dealing with um cross watcher it could be you it could be I mean you take the energy and put it where it fits maybe it doesn't fit at all all I do is read the energy okay and it is general but what I am saying is a relationship that was a little bit rocky had some turbulence however you want to say that um and someone has taken the higher road they've either put their foot down and ended out that situation like no i'm not going to be with you i don't want to be with you or put their foot down and no i'm going to be here i'm going to stay here we're going to work out we're going to work this out but we're not going to do it like that i'm not going to argue with you anymore i'm not going to entertain that i have things i'm feeling like somebody has a lot of responsibility on them currently and they just don't feel like messing with it one second y'all this door i'm so sorry Yeah, I'm feeling like someone just really doesn't want to mess with it anymore. Like, I, I don't, I, I'm saying like I work all day and then I come home and I have to deal with this. Like, I don't need to hear that anymore. Like, it's going to be calm or I'm not going to be here. Someone's really put their foot down. And this is, and I feel like in a good way, um, for some of you, it's very transformational in the relationship. Somebody actually needed a little bit of that structure. Someone, I don't want, I don't like to say like people need to be put in check, but sometimes, you know, we all get a little out of line. Um, but for others of you, this created more of a challenge. Someone feels like, cause I'm hearing like, I'm hearing, yeah, challenge accepted. Someone kind of took this on as like, uh, they think this is hot. Like they think, they think this is sexy. Like, Ooh, talk dirty to me. Ooh, take control. Like, Oh yeah, big man. It's really kind of disgusting because there's a way to do that. Like if you're into that, there's a way to get that without actually causing, um, harm and tension and abuse in the relationship. So it's really a little bit of a toxic energy going on here but i do feel like someone here has gotten in their groove on the flip side of that it may cause someone else to be a little bit more sneaky or create more challenges almost like someone here honestly aquarius i really hate to say this and this is just how it's coming through and again it's general it's not going to resonate with everyone um but i feel like someone is so bored that they sit around creating scenarios to be mad about or things to question 
let's um, get a little more on this. Let's expand. Get a hobby. Mm. Aquarius, I do feel like you have some challenges coming up for you, but it's, again, I think it's going to be major transformation. I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing like you, you're not going to get the death penalty. So, I mean, just chill out. Oh, okay. I don't know really what that, um, I'm hearing like hanged jury, hanged judge. What is under here? The temperance. Yeah, it's going to balance out for those of you. Oh, I don't even want to say that. Yeah, I don't even want to do it. I don't want to do it. Look, there's going to be some things that you're going to go through, Aquarius, for some of you. Again, this is general, so not for everyone. There's going to be some things that you're going to go. Actually, something else here is like going to a higher court, higher lawyer, whatever that. I don't know what that's about. That's for a select few. But if that's for you, if you're dealing with something legal, um, it you're going to get it. You will have justice. I do feel like you're going to get some punishment or whatever, but I think it's going to be fair. And I think it's going to be quick. I'm hearing it's going to be very swift. So I don't think it's going to be. Yeah, because like I keep hearing like, God damn, calm down. You're not going to get the, the death penalty. Like I'm hearing it just like that. So anyway. And obviously that could be a metaphor for um, some of you as well. I mean, maybe it's, goodness, these cards. I'm hearing no more mix up. No more mix up. No more, no more. Um, why do I feel like someone feels like they have to sneak? I feel like someone isn't necessarily doing anything wrong, but they feel like they have to sneak around. They feel ashamed or they've been made to feel ashamed. I don't know. This is really weird energy down here. Let's see what's going on. I don't know that you're doing something wrong or so, or whoever this is resonating with. Maybe again, Aquarius, if it's not you, it's someone you're dealing with, but it's like, I feel like, I feel like you're in the closet, like not necessarily, I mean, of, of any number of things. It's like, I don't think you're necessarily doing anything wrong. I think what makes it wrong is that you feel like you have to hide it. And maybe someone has made you feel like that though. I really want to, it doesn't feel right there. It feels right here. I feel like someone is really taking charge of their life in this relationship. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this anymore. Also, I'm hearing like, that's not even who I am. Yeah. I tried it. That's not who I am. And that I'm hearing like, yeah, that suit, it doesn't fit me. And there's no tailor in the world that that can tailor that to me. Like, come on, you can only take in the inseam so much. Is this like how I'm hearing it? And I'm seeing someone, um, they're putting on this suit. They're in this, um, they're in this like really, uh, fancy, suit shop. I don't know what that's freaking called. I mean, is it a suit shop? I don't know. It's like a menswear, um, place. And they're like, they're like, like, get, get this shit out of my face. I'm not wearing that cheap shit. And like, no, I want this. And they're like putting on this silk. Like I, that's not me. I'm not that person. Like I have to be me. Interesting. Mm, what I tell you? What did I tell you? It's a relationship. It's like, I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't want to do this with you anymore. So if there's someone put their foot down and they're no longer in this relationship and about, see, here's the thing though. I don't feel like the other person is taking it. This, the other person has a very weird energy about them. Like, Oh, that's sexy. Like, Oh, talk dirty to me, daddy. Oh yes. Uh, you know, grab me, choke me, da -da, which is all good. That's great. I love that. Like that's, that's amazing. Not in this energy though, because it's like you actually provoked somebody to be yucky for real. It's not just role play. It's not just rough sex. It's not just taking control, you know, in a masculine role or a feminine role. It's like, it's like you actually created a scenario that caused harm emotionally and mentally that made them feel like they had to get rough. And I'm not condoning or excusing violence. So please don't take it like that. But I'm just saying like this person, like you could have just left well enough alone. Like this person actually had um, yucky intent when they grab the other person, when they shake the other person, when they scream at the other person, it wasn't just like some role play, some like, give it to me rough. It was, there was some intent behind that because of the yucky feelings that had been created. Um, so I don't know about this energy. I don't really care for this energy. Mm -mm. Somebody is like a little bit off. 
mentally i feel like yeah and this is the same old cycle no wonder you're tired of dealing with it because it's like uh, again again that's what i'm saying like somebody is like put their foot down like i'm not mm -mm, i'm in my groove i go to work i take care of my business i just want to be left alone <laughs> I just want to be left alone. I want to pay my bills. I want to take care of my shit, take care of my kids, take care of my car, whatever I got to do to take care of that. And, and I just want to be left alone. But then there's something still being created in the works over here. Like somebody is really a little bit off and could be both of y'all. It could be both of y'all. I don't know. But it's like, it's like when there is no issue, when everything is going fine, I really feel like somebody makes an issue out of nothing. Like they're so bored. Like they just sit around and think up scenarios and situations to bitch about, fight about, pick apart. It's like, and then one person is like, I don't have time for that. Like, do you know what I do throughout the day? I mean, even hearing somebody like, I fucking hate my job, but I do it to make money, to make things work. Um, and, and then I come home to this. Oh my goodness. Let's see. If, this is not much of a bonus. Jeez. Four of swords in the reverse position. Let's see that page of swords. Yeah, this has to do with contracts. So this is like, I feel like somebody's either signed a contract. Maybe they've signed a lease. Maybe they've signed, um, you know, a contract of a marriage. Um, maybe they've, um, had some contracted work, right? This could be dealing with a boss. If this is not like a romantic relationship and this is that of a boss, like, I mean, this could be an employer, um, and, or excuse me, an employee who like really grinds hard and just works their tail off for their boss and their boss is constantly coming with some more ish you know um just consistently nitpicking at everything but doesn't want to pick up any of the slack or give them any help because i really do feel like that i really do feel like however this reading is resonating with you if this is a like whoever is going it's like one person really feels like they have all the weight on them and the other person is just i'm here and getting a free ride a free ride and i'm feel <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing someone, they're like going down the highway and they're tired of this person like over in the passenger seat and they're so done with it. They just like open up the door and like drop kick them out of the moving vehicle. I hope that's a metaphor. I'm sorry that I'm laughing, but it's hysterical. I'm sorry. That's funny. The little scene that just played out in my head, <coughs> what I saw. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sick. I'm, I'm, I've got a dark sense of humor. I'm sorry. That's not acceptable. Hopefully that didn't really happen, but it was... <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I gotta be who I am too. Sorry. Somebody, yeah, somebody's just tired of somebody like just consistently. It's like nonstop. Does you, do you ever get tired of nagging? I'm hearing, okay? Both of these people, it's like, yeah, look at the world and the the judgment and the lovers all in the reverse position with the four swords it's like oh my god i don't want to do this anymore it's just like every day it's never ending like oh my god it's like it's just like been the longest day ever <laughs> like this whole year i'm hearing has been one long day <laughs> Yeah, someone is looking at their options. That's what I'm saying. Someone feels like they have to do something very deceitful, like they have to lie about something, create challenges and conflict, and somebody, like, they're creating competition um, in this weird way. They're looking at their other options, and they're waiting for an opportunity to jump, and I really feel like the only reason they haven't done it yet is because they haven't had the opportunity. I don't know why it feels... This is so toxic. Oh, man, this is so toxic. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, they're not happy. Someone's just not happy. Look, here's the thing. Okay, so all jokes aside, um, I don't, in this particular energy, in this reading, it's just not working and no one's willing to work for it. Somebody has put their foot down and that's an amazing start, but the other person didn't receive it like that. Um, they didn't really receive it like that. They received it in sort of a perverted, like, role play way. Like, maybe they always wanted this person to stand up and be a man or stand up and be a woman or, you know what I mean? They wanted that little, like, snarky, fiery type of energy. But this is not how you get it. This is not how you get it. This is stemming from a place of pain and hurt and, con and, and, and constant, I'm hearing constant interruption. There could be some outside influence. Let's see, let's, let's, let's see what's influencing this, um, situation. Yeah, someone's really hurt and that's clear. Also, someone's made a very clear decision in their head. Like, oh, I'm never going to be able to talk to them about that again. 
Like, oh, oh, okay. So that, like, look, that, what you just did right there, that's why I never want to tell you anything. That's why I can't be honest with you. That's why I don't want to tell you anything is because like you use it against me or you take it there or you take it here or you make shit up or whatever. It's like someone in their head. I'm not saying what's right or wrong. I have no idea. But someone is like dead set on like, ooh, walking away. Like, I mean, and I mean, I'm hearing someone like, where would you be without me? Like, and I'm hearing the other person like, where would you be without me? Like each person thinks that they are the God's creation to this or God's gift, excuse me, to this relationship. And it's like everybody I feel like was pulling their weight at some point, you know, at some points more than others, but it's like, it's not seen that way. It's not looked at that way. It's looked at like, well, I did this. And the other person's like, well, I did this. And the other person's like, well, I did this. Well, you did that. Well, I, and it's just like, fuck. I'm tired just from reading the energy. I can't imagine being in this relationship. And, and in fact, um, some of you are no longer in this relationship, but you're still, I feel like dealing with the loose ends of it. Like I still like your feel, I feel, I still like your feel tongue twisted. Even, um, I feel like you're still even dealing with the, the repercussions of however toxic this relationship got. Yeah, I'm hearing that. I could, I could have killed her. I could have killed her. And I'm hearing, yeah, well, I could have killed him. You know, I'm hearing that like, you know, yeah, oh, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. 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 So what's going on in the future? Yeah, there is something like there's there is some influence, some outside influence of this going there's something going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lots of arguments created on the outside. So so as if this situation didn't have enough going on internally, um, you had people that were brought in on the outside. Here's the thing, though. No one's fault because these people on the inside let the outsiders come in and create issues. From far away these people were far away or they couldn't see the situation clearly you know maybe they were only getting one side of the story something like that mm -hmm. there's a lot to do with finances here but um, I don't know like what maybe there was a separation before and then these people got back together you know what I don't this feels it feel, feels very on again off again type of relationship but there's definitely some love triangle shit going on here. I don't know. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. Deception, deception. This has been like, this feels more almost um, convenient at this point, but convenient for who? I really feel like there's some sort of a contract involved that someone can't get out of or there's been something on paper charges filed or papers filed I'm looking at a lot of paperwork being signed um, that I feel like I can't get out of okay again though I feel like you're going if look if you take the reins now and you look you got the king of spades here king of swords here okay seven of wands seven of clubs seven of wands okay you got a lot of repeat energy but i feel like if you take the reins now if you take the reins now i think you're going to be fine okay yeah you need to invest in what's right for you and don't let everybody know your move okay yeah let people think that you're sitting stagnant but you need to be stacking or whatever you need to be doing taking care of responsibilities on the other side on the other side of that where nobody can see yeah for sure there's something new waiting for you, Aquarius, but you're gonna have to get out of this energy and you don't don't let everybody or anybody really um, know your moves. OK, so I mean, maybe like if this is if this is resonating on like a work or career um, area of life for you that I mean, if you're if you're if you have a partner, then yeah, I mean, I guess let your partner know. But other than that, like I wouldn't let anybody know, like not even my closest friends, because there's just been too much outside influence well, there was already enough turmoil within the situation itself it didn't need any more nonsense and nonsense it did get um so that's what i have for you Aquarius. i'm sorry that's not much of a bonus but also you know now is a really good time to like get down in the dirty with this um full moon coming up in a week or you know really less than a week 
And maybe that's why it's getting so intense. I mean, these feelings, oh, 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 I'm hearing, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm hearing like, no, oh, no, I didn't mean that. I was just really mad. No, I didn't mean to say that. I was just really mad. No, you said that. You meant that. You keep that same energy. Mm-hmm. And that's what's real. Also, I'm seeing someone like, like telling the truth through a joke. Like they joke about something to like test out a reaction and it's like, yeah, that wasn't funny. And oh, 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 well, I was just joking. No, you, no, you, no, you meant that. You just wanted to test the reaction before you like take, took claim of it. Look at this card has been coming out for everyone. Hydromancy, illusion, like, yeah. And so be careful. Sensi yeah, 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 yeah. Sensitivity for sure. And precision. Yeah, I feel like your next move needs to be super, super precise. I feel like you're breaking through illusion. You're getting some clarity. Somebody has already gotten clarity. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No matter what the other person tells the other person, they have already made a decision in their mind of what they're going to do. The best advice I can give you is to keep it under wraps. This, this needs to part ways. This needs to, like, everyone needs, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, you did, you did, you did, you did. Well, I did, you did. I mean, like, no, we need to take some responsibility for ourselves. You need to be, like, on your own. Like, okay, I, I, this part I've got to do on my own. Hmm, deceit. Yeah, I feel like someone's trying to make someone feel bad for what they did, but they already, they did the same thing. They did the same thing. I think you just don't know about it, though. Yeah. It has something to do with flirtation and the oath that was taken, the agreement that was taken, and the playfulness. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody, like, did something as a joke to test a reaction or let something out of the bag, like, slowly to test a reaction in this space. And it's like, oh, oh, well, then if you have a bad reaction, then I can just say, oh, I was just playing. Like, oh, I didn't really mean that. Or, no, I would never go against our agreement or whatever. It's like, no, no. No, they meant that. No, they, they, they meant that. I'm, I'm hearing, yeah, yeah, precisely. Like, yeah, look, decision. There's a decision that needs to be made here. It's already been made. I think um, it just hasn't been stated. And I don't think it needs to be. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. And I will see you next time.